Proper preparation is the most important step of any painting project, so take a little extra time and get the job done right. Because no matter how high the quality of paint you're applying, it won't hide imperfections in your walls, and it won't adhere well to a dirty surface. Okay, let's start by laying down drop cloths. You have a few choices when selecting a drop cloth. There's poly sheeting, which is inexpensive and waterproof, but it's slippery to walk on. Canvas is the most durable, but it's the most expensive, and water-based latex paints will probably soak through it. Then there's a paper poly combo that provides a waterproof seal, but it isn't as slippery as poly or as expensive as canvas. Once you've cleared the room and laid out your drop cloths, begin masking off the baseboard using paper and blue painter's tape. Painter's tape costs more than traditional masking tape, but it uses less adhesive so it won't damage the surface when you remove it. When you're done masking off the baseboards, slip the drop cloth under the paper to completely guard the floor. Then remove any outlet or switch plates located in the room and mask off any trim you want to protect. Okay, now you're ready to repair any cracks or holes in the wall. Remove any nails, screws, or picture hooks and fill the holes with lightweight crack filler. Allow it to dry according to the manufacturer's instructions and sand it smooth using 220 grit sandpaper on a sanding block. If there are any high gloss areas you're planning to paint over, you'll need to add some tooth with either some sandpaper, a brass wire brush, or a liquid deglosser. By creating this roughness or tooth, the paint will adhere better to the surface. Treat any stains or mildew with a solution of one part bleach to three parts water. Wait 20 minutes and rinse thoroughly with clean water. Clean any greasy sections with a TSP solution. TSP is non-sudsing and is 100% phosphate, so it's a very powerful cleaner but it prevents the paint from bonding, so be sure you rinse the area several times to remove any residue. Once the walls have dried, spot prime any repairs with a stain blocking latex primer. All right, now for the final preparation step, applying the primer to the rest of the wall area. A primer is not just a watered down paint. It's a specially formulated product that allows your finish coat to adhere better to the surface. Drying times will vary, so consult the can to determine how long you should wait before applying a finished coat. If your walls have been previously painted with latex, the walls are clean, and the paint is adhering well, you may be able to consider the old paint a primer for the new paint. Press a piece of transparent tape onto the old paint and remove it. If the paint comes off of the tape, you need to prime it. And here's a tip. If you plan on applying a darker color, have your primer tinted. It will give you a jump start on the color change and will ensure good coverage for the finished coat.